Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got the Porsche on a trailer. Um, there's honestly, it, it's the stupidest thing ever. I had we had, we bought the tools to bleed it. Um, we tried bleeding it, multiple different air compressors, multiple different people helping me, and we couldn't get that thing 100% dialed in. We got it to the point where if you drive it on the freeway, it will work, but as soon as you come to a stoplight, it will start to climb up in numbers. I'm assuming there's just a lot of air pockets or something's just not working properly. I'm not getting any fault codes anymore, um, so I'm not really too sure what it is. So anyways, it's just gonna be Porsche's problem. So, well, Porsche's problem is my problem. They literally sent me an email saying, hey, for your service, uh, would you like to finance it? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> financing service please Crazy, god bro. let's hopefully it's not gonna be too expensive so we're gonna take this thing down to porsche hopefully get that thing dialed in right after that honestly the oil change you're probably gonna get that done over there too um just to get the car kind of tip top ready to go and driving because i'm hoping when we drop it off we actually drive it back but without further ado let's just go ahead and head down to porsche So guys, in the car now, heading out of Porsche. Honestly guys, when you're there, like you should just go there, whether you have a Porsche or not. I know you guys are getting into BMWs or love BMWs, you know, diehard BMW fans. BMWs are awesome. The dealerships at one point was awesome, but Porsche dealerships are a whole nother level. They really are. <laughs> and the catering. Bro, they bring you sandwiches. That's they great. bring you Starbucks iced coffee glass cups. <laughs> they bring you, bro, they give us diet. I, I didn't, this to me was already too much of a luxury. Just yeah. putting it out there. Like you, go to, you go to a freaking BMW, they, they might offer you one. It might. <laughs> might. Might. And then their snacks are subpar. You know, it's that. <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking about the, the amenities. <laughs> we're not saying which BMW dealership we're talking about. But honestly, two of them. The two of them that I go to are honestly nothing in comparison to either of the Porsche dealerships I've been to right now. I've been to Porsche Sacramento now and Porsche Rockland. Amazing, amazing, amazing Porsches. The cars they have, they're also phenomenal. Like they, they each single Porsche dealership I've ever been to, they have, what, like half a million dollar cars? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's insane. Um, so anyways, and the place are amazing. I, uh, the people there are really, really, really nice. Uh, the way he even, so he had to break the news to me. Uh, after I tried, I towed the car there. You know, I told him I need this, this, this done. Took out the car, unloaded it, and he's like, dealerships, by the way, don't touch salvage style cars. But the way that he approached me, in a very professional manner with his boss, He's like, I'm, I'm sorry to inform you, is this vehicle branded? And I was like, yes, it is branded. It's Gucci branded, not kidding. It's branded, yes. And uh, he's like, unfortunately, we cannot touch a branded car because we cannot warranty the work. I was like, lucky for you, I don't care for warranty. <laughs> <laughs> for real? I, like, I can sign whatever you want. Typically, you know, that's not really, most, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to do this for any of you guys to actually do what I'm saying. Typically, like he said yesterday, he was driving a salvage model car and a taillight fell out of the car. So, and then that guy tried blaming them for the taillight. There, there's no way they could have done anything for a taillight to fall out of a car. So there's just, people like them is ruins it. For people like me, that just needs an oil change. So I know this is kind of a long talk right now, but I'm just kind of updating you guys what's going on. So long story short, I'm just getting a coolant flush. I'm not doing any diags because they can't really do diagnostics on cars uh, that they don't know have been tampered with. So I'm just kind of just doing straight cut and dry. Just do me hopefully a coolant flush and that's gonna work and fix our issue and just do an oil change. So that's enough for me. I'm happy they're even willing to do it. Um, so shout out to them. So we're gonna hopefully pick up the car next week. But uh, yeah, that's about it. We're gonna head over and get some burritos, pick up Jonathan's car, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yes sir. Gonna go uh, hopefully eat good, eat cookie. I mean, you're X3, bro. I know, I haven't even mentioned it to anybody. <laughs> really? Not even YouTube, not Instagram. But is nothing. it a YouTube car? I think it's, it's not really a YouTube like, it's a, car. It's, it's just like a backup car. So it's just basically Jonathan got a car, yeah. blew up an engine after a year of working on it. Yeah, Bought another car, own. engine damage. Yeah, which wasn't really planned for. Planned for at all. So long story short, theoretically our boy Rulon, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, supposedly fixed his vehicle. So we're yeah. gonna go pick it up. We have the trailer already. Might as well stop by, pick it up, yeah. and then get some burritos. Yes, sir. So we'll catch you guys when we get there. Alright, 
so it's been about a week later, actually a week and a half later. Uh, let's not talk about how long it took. But long story short, the car is ready for pickup. They said so far the cooling system is sorted, so fingers crossed it is. Uh, and they also did an oil change. And they also did a free diagnostic because they started it and then they found out some janky stuff's going on with it, which I'll have to explain to you guys later with that. So thankfully they're not charging me for that. Um, so yeah, supposedly the car is done. Here my boy Alon, thank you for uh, taking me to MIG. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head down to Porsche, pick up the car, hopefully it'll drive. This is the first drive, guys. First drive, driving it back to the apartment. I mean, not the apartment, I'm not taking it there. I'll take it back to the shop. Uh, and then tomorrow, we gotta take it to a, another shop to get some more things sorted on it. But anyways, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Let's pick up the car. Hopefully everything is gravy in the Navy. First drive, very excited. All right, guys, just got the Porsche. Car is looking mighty fine. <laughs> they just washed it too. My God, this is the first wash that looks insane. Oh my God. Guys, first time flooring it. <laughs> this thing feels good, I'm not gonna lie. The limit's a little off, but I'm not gonna lie, this feels pretty awesome. Uh, I noticed the car shuts off at lights now, so I don't know if they just enabled that or now it's working because the cooling system's good. I'm hoping everything's working because the cooling system's good. Again, I found out something about the sound system that's really, really, really bad, and I'll keep you guys posted on that, but uh, really bummed out, honestly, super bummed out about that. But anywho, so far, so good. I'll keep you guys posted when we get back to the shop. I'm going to drive safe, and uh, hope all is well. A lot of content has been dropping with the Porsche and literally nothing but the Porsche. So for those of you guys who only love BMWs and don't love Porsches, I'm sorry, but there is some BMW content here coming soon. I'm literally looking into an investment that's probably gonna cost literally, I think about $30,000, but it's gonna be super awesome build here on this YouTube channel. So that is here coming soon. So do not worry, it is a BMW build. It's gonna be super crazy, probably just as crazy as the E91 M3 and that car is never being sold. And this next build is never getting sold either. So that can kind of give you guys an idea of how crazy this build's gonna be. That being said, I'm here with the 981 and uh, we have another mod from keys motorsports we have some agt coilovers which are these new coilovers that are just now kind of like surfacing uh the web keys motorsports are the only ones uh that actually have these coilovers um and i've heard a lot of good things about them so that being said we're gonna be throwing it onto this bad boy right here uh i don't know if you guys remember the donor porsche that we got the donor porsche that we got was like slammed it looked absolutely fantastic and uh it made this car honestly look kind of weak so that being said we're gonna go ahead and throw on some new suspension on this car that's gonna literally drop it four fingers which you guys can only imagine how low to the ground this bad boy is gonna be it's gonna be a little scary to drive it but it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. Also guys, let me know what you guys think about these wheels. I absolutely love them. Let me know what you guys think about the calipers as well that match with the new center caps. Obviously I'm not changing the, the, the what's it called, the calipers, but let me know what you guys think about the center caps. Finally got the red ones on there. I think they look absolutely good. I think they complement the red calipers so, so, so nicely. That is something we did on our 435i, our copper car, and matched it with the wrap. I think you guys hated it at first, but eventually grew on you guys. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So on the front of the daily guys we have the agt coilover sitting right over here it probably won't fit my porsche so i'm actually just gonna leave it in this car uh jonathan's gonna drop me off i'm actually getting these done at my boys nasa shop protech auto i'm um, getting those done over there just because it was kind of hard for me to remove the stock suspension off the donor one i don't really want to do the coilovers i think it's gonna be a super pain in the butt not to mention uh i suck at adjusting coilovers and not to mention i'm gonna need an alignment afterwards anyways they do everything there they're gonna be installing it they're gonna be adjusting it and they're also gonna be doing my alignment so it's gonna be absolutely perfect um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and take it there first thing in the morning so we got this box right over here brand new again shout out to keys motorsports for hooking us up on this bad boy and if you guys are wondering what this is i have a side hobby that i kind of want to start a youtube channel on uh if you guys know what it is you know what it is if you don't know what it is don't worry about it it's just a little you know a little side hobby of mine Hopefully the Porsche makes it there, no problems. I mean, as you guys saw in the last video, we got it home, so that was super awesome. The car did run and drive. Shout out to Porsche for actually taking care of the car. Um, so I'm super happy about that. So sh theoretically, should be no issues to get there. So again, fingers crossed, everything's gravy in the Navy. See y'all tomorrow morning. Ready to go? <laughs>
Guys, just got down here to ProTech. Got the Porsche pulling up. I see they have another Porsche in here right now. <laughs> is this your kind of, John, is this your kind of favorite Porsche or not? No, it's not my favorite. What year is this? Uh, it's a 997. It looks like. 997. It's a 911, right? Yeah. What are the odds? This is the first time I've actually seen the Porsche just chilling right here. Usually it's a Supra. They're like, they love their Supras, but yeah, it's kind of funny. Okay. The man, the myth, the legend, bro. So the Porsche is finally done. It's been in my shop for about 10 years. Finally done, bro. So yeah, gonna be dropping it off here at ProTech to get a few things done. First thing, I need an AC recharge. Second thing, I need an alignment, and that's pretty much it. But I figured while we're getting alignment done, might as well slap on some coilovers as well. So that's what we're actually getting done here as well. They actually do install mods like that, so that's pretty sick. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get this bad boy inside and show you guys the coilover setup. Oh, we got the tools. Nice. <laughs> Got some stickers. Pretty good quality. Not bad too. Not bad so far. All right. Oh, oh damn! I see it. I see it. God's gonna help me out with this guy. So, yeah, it's actually the first time me actually opening it too. We literally just got it. What's actually nice about it is that all four of these, the spring is on the shock, so it's not gonna need anything. You know, we literally just install yeah. it the way it is. That's how do you, how does it feel? Pretty good quality. It's pretty Might nice. Of, like, pretty nice. The, uh, oh, it's got adjustments on the bottom here too. Have you ever seen that before? Uh, no. But that's a good thing I'm getting installed here because I don't know how to install these for my life. <laughs> they, they've installed thousands of coilovers. I'm sure they're going to know how to adjust all these and all the different kinds of coilovers and the adjustments. I'm sure they know how to do all that stuff. But for me, actually, Naz, bro, I got a quick question for you. You ever seen this before? Yeah. Okay, see? They know what they're doing. So I've never seen that before. So it should be good to go. The, the fancy ones have it on the bottom. Hey, you heard them? The cheap <laughs> ones, you have a little knob over here. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that really a thing? Yeah, yeah, the Good top to one. I've seen the top one. Yeah, the top one is like yeah, you have BC coilovers, has that one. Like eBay coilovers. Yeah. Those have them. Like <laughs> so, should be most good. of most of like the fancy ones, they some of them have an extra uh, reservoir and there's an knob on the bottom. But yeah, this Oh I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Those are like three, four grand. I seen those. This is around the twenty five hundred dollar price range, so it does sound about right. Um, but yeah, we're gonna actually gonna test out the comfort and all this stuff as soon as it's installed. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll catch you later, bro. We're gonna let you do your thing. I'm not gonna bother you too much. Um, so let us know when it's ready to go. And that car, guys, is hopefully gonna be dropped so much. So guys, the footage from here on out, unfortunately, we lost all the audio. So I'm pretty much just gonna be talking over it. As of this point, we got the car back from ProTech and uh, we're slapping on the wheel spaces because the, 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 the height is absolutely amazing, but the fitment could be improved and some wheel spaces are gonna do exactly that. So we just picked up the wheel spaces that we actually got off our donor Porsche. Um, so, you know, that was just kind of a free bonus. Keys Motorsports, I'm using their tool to help us line up everything, make things easier. It's super, it's super nice to actually use this tool when you have wheel spacers so you can easily line up the wheel spacer with the wheel with the hub it just makes life easy plus it actually holds up the wheel and uh, long story short you guys are about to see the fitment here it looks absolutely phenomenal with these wheel spacers i mean just check it out guys check it out for yourselves As soon as he actually got that done, my boy Junior came over to help us install some decals. He does wrapping, he does tinning, he does a bunch of stuff uh, that are film related for any vehicle. And uh, I wanted him to install these custom decals. I believe it's like one of one. I've never seen anyone else do this before. And I am probably one of the first ones that's actually rocking a company decal on a Porsche that looks factory. I don't know how to explain to you guys, you guys are about to see it, but I think it looks so nice, super classy, very professional. And that's kind of the approach I'm trying to go with this Porsche. I'm trying to make it sporty, but also very professional um, you know for business but honestly make it really 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 sick at the same time you guys are about to see how these decals actually come out and it looks absolutely phenomenal I'm sorry, I can't believe what a hundred dollars worth of stickers um, can do to a car I think it only looks good on a Porsche I've never seen stickers on a BMW actually look good but on a Porsche I don't know why it just looks absolutely phenomenal and I think coming up here soon I'm gonna have to get a wing so we can actually add some more of that gold towards the rear of the car because now the front end looks absolutely amazing the rear definitely needs some touches so we're definitely gonna have to get a GT4 wing on this car and then add those details, maybe even our logos on that as well. It should look really sick. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below of this whole transformation so far with this build.
So you guys see it. The Porsche Odyssey took so, so, so long to come together, but it looks so, so, so good. It only took a donor Porsche and it took uh, about six months of my time and um, a lot of other things, honestly. That, that I'm never gonna probably rebuild another Porsche just because of how long it takes getting the parts all together and having people that actually wanna work on it and touch that car. So long story short, I'm super happy. I've enjoyed the Porsche build. I'm definitely gonna be enjoying it here. I'm gonna have it here uh, when we actually host our car meet here at Natty Auto Parts. I've been saying that for a very long time and I haven't gotten to it. Same way I've been saying I'm gonna upload a lot more videos and I haven't really been getting to it. So uh, take that with a grain of salt, but at the same time, I do want you guys to hold me to it because I definitely do want to be uploading more. I'm actually having another member join the Natty Auto Parts family here soon. So when they do, I should have a little more time to actually film some videos, edit those videos for you guys. Um, and at the same time, start involving you guys here um, as part of Natty Auto Parts. I want you guys to be here, part of Natty, uh, joining the events. You're gonna be doing cars and coffee, all that good stuff. It's just something that takes a lot of time uh, to kind of organize. Uh, and just time is something, as you guys clearly can see by not uploading videos, it's something I don't really have. So I used to tell everyone when I first started YouTube, this always time for something uh, that you're passionate about. So that I should be making no excuses uh, and I, I should be no, period, that should be it. So uh, definitely gonna be uploading more. I'm gonna say that, hopefully I can hold myself to that. And the way I'm gonna be doing that is by getting a build, kind of like the E91 M3, something crazy like that. That's gonna be pretty much giving me a lot of work to do to build a custom car. And at the same time, a lot of content for you guys. Uh, and again, it's gonna be here at the shop. So for those of you guys who ever wanna swing by, you guys will be able to see this build. This build is gonna actually be built literally uh, through car shows. You guys are gonna be seeing it here at the event, literally growing in the progress of it, growing little by little. We're gonna try to showcase it here and hopefully have it side by side once it's finished with the E91 M3. I think it's gonna look absolutely phenomenal. It's definitely a BMW. So for those of you guys who are like, Nor, I really hope you're not just shifting outside of BMWs. I'm not really a big fan of Porsche or where, you know, the Audi stuff or any other stuff. I really want BMW content. Do not worry guys, there's gonna be another enthusiast build coming here soon. The Porsche is just something I really want to test the waters on and I actually really do like the car and there will be content on that car kind of throughout this YouTube channel as well. But don't worry, I didn't forget about the OGs, BMW for life. So without further ado, it's gonna have to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. But without further ado guys, the Porsche is going off to get ceramic coated, polished. I'll be showing you guys the finishing touches of the Porsche, potentially a GT4 wing. That's probably gonna be the final touches gonna be doing to that Porsche. And then we're actually gonna be starting the new BMW project. So yeah, hopefully soon guys. I'm trying, I'm trying, like I said guys, to get more videos out. I finally have a new member coming here to the Natty family and hopefully uh, I will have time. So. Again, no more excuses. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If I'm not uploading, guys, blow up my Instagram. Please hold me to it. Love y'all.